I'm thrilled to be invited to give this keynote. Not the first that Miranda has asked me to give. I mean, it's all very flattering. I've loved watching the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation grow. And even more, I've loved meeting the people, the many young people who are inspired to make a difference by, well, a simple way of putting it is doing the right thing. The wonderful title for this lecture that Miranda is about to deliver is 6X, Call for Action. Proud to be me addressing unconscious bias and ESG. Now this will take the blinkers off some things and put a magnifying glass on others in a way that leaves you in no doubt that the future is ours to see. Miranda is inspiring us to drive forwards and that we can't do that by looking in the rear view mirror. We know we need to do everything in a way that is sustainable, otherwise we could be wasting effort and not achieving our goals along the way. The word sustainable is a bit loose, it's, it's a bit of a catch-all, but for the purposes of where we want to get to, it's always good to find ways of making sure that we can sustain the effort. Thinking about Miranda's title for today's lecture, I would like to reflect for a brief moment on proud to be me, addressing unconscious bias, and ESG in the context of what I think will sustain our efforts and maximize our impact and outcomes. We have our LGBT plus friends to thank for the expression out and proud and for inventing pride, an extraordinary celebration in so many cities around the world of the fact that we can be proud to be our authentic selves proud to be who we really are and not try to hide it. I'm hugely proud to be a patron of pride. This has given us all immense confidence to stand up and be counted in the world that is, as a result, much more welcoming of difference. And difference is what we need to capture the sustainable future that we all want to achieve. Miranda is proud of who she is, and so she should be. And you can be proud of who you are and help others to be proud of themselves too. Confidence makes the effort sustainable. So right now, I'm wanting to work more with the disabled. Gosh, weren't the Paralympics fantastic? And we are about to begin Black History Month. The future is not sustainable without all this amazing talent. So the idea of unconscious bias has been around for years. To be honest, I'm no great fan of the expression anyway. It kind of delivers a hint that if it is unconscious, it's not all that bad. I can't get my head into what good and bad bias might look like. I think bias is bias, frankly, whether it's conscious or unconscious. You can't get away with just delivering a training program to all your staff and think you've dealt with it. What it needs is concerted and sustainable effort across the whole piece. And talking of the whole piece, let me finish with a little bit of context on Miranda's inclusion of ESG environmental social governance. It's not a new concept. I was promoting it over 10 years ago in the city. Not that I always had large audiences for it, uh, but there's a lot of money now looking for good ESG investments. And maybe it's because I've worked in the electricity industry, which has been working hard to decarbonize for quite a while, having been around when climate change concerns first began, but I have focused on the word environmental. But now I've come to realize that the word is highly interactive with social and governance. It takes people to make the environmental protection sustainable, and it takes people to focus on good governance, by which I mean good decision making for the future. 
We all need to be clear about what good will look like in the medium and long term, particularly the long term. As we all know, we suffer from too much short termism, which does nothing for sustainability. Diversity and inclusion have a key role to play in all this. We need diverse and inclusive decision makers at the helm of organizations that are clear on their purpose, that can be seen to be doing the right thing in the long term. They will attract the ESG investors. Thank you for listening to me and thank you for supporting the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation. There are lots of wonderful ways to get involved. It's fun and it's inspiring. And what could be better than that? I'm John Berko, former speaker of the UK House of Commons. And I'm a strong supporter and indeed, I think, a champion of the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation. Ever since I met Miranda, I have believed in her and I have believed in her foundation. Why? because I have a track record of probably two decades of support for and a belief in the need for progress on diversity within private companies, publicly floated companies, the public sector, the voluntary sector. Why do I believe in that concept of diversity in leadership? Well, really for two reasons. First, it's very good for the beneficiaries so in terms of their opportunity, their rights, their chance to display their skills, their talents, their potential. But secondly, because frankly, it's good for business in the widest sense or good for the effectiveness of a public body or a charitable institution to draw on the rich variety of our society. Too often, it's too narrow. Miranda Brawl and the Diversity Leadership Foundation are dedicated to changing that. I've helped over the years in a minor way, and it's very difficult to resist any request from Dr. Miranda Brawl. So I spoke at her event at the University of Law, giving the lecture in 2018. And then I was very privileged and honored to host the first Miranda Brawl Diversity Leadership Foundation summer reception in the state rooms of Speaker's House towards the end of my tenure in the summer of 2019. It was a joy to do that because I felt here was someone who was putting herself out with others to make a difference, to make this country, our institutions, our business, our charitable sector and our public sector, more diverse, more inclusive, more richly representative of the country as a whole. Why should people support the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation, preferably on an ongoing basis? The short answer is that delivering diversity in leadership is not a matter of an isolated act or a single event. Rather, it's a continuous mission. It's an ongoing process. You have to stick at it. So, that's why you should support the foundation. Support it if you can with resources, sponsorship, money. If you believe in the mission of the foundation and you want to help people have opportunities that they don't currently have, and you or your organization is in a position to assist in that respect. Help with your time if you've got it and you believe in diversity in leadership and greater social mobility and help with your skill set. If by your example, if by your life experience, if by your personal or corporate journey, there are lessons that you've learned, there's experience you've garnered that you can bring to the benefit of the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation, please do. It's a small but growing charity. It needs to be helped, nurtured, and supported. I've never regretted my involvement and you won't regret yours. Good luck, and remember the name, Dr. Miranda Braun, the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation. It deserves your support, it will benefit from your support, and neither Miranda nor the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation will ever forget that support, and they will never let you down.
they'll gain from it and they'll grow stronger and they'll deliver better. Thank you.